June 20th. A few workers. Nice aerial yellow jacket nest. If all goes well, I'll uh, have this one in uh, late August. Back here in May, I didn't see it. I guess it got started. This time I was here is May 16th. I could have missed it. I didn't, didn't get initiated yet. inside I, think I caught a little glimpse of the queen probably got two combs maybe started a third pretty quick to uh, build the species they die off quick though could be there's at least two combs in here maybe three Hope I don't get stung. Pretty aggressive. Probably about twenty workers. Keep on building. At least 20 workers, I'd say 20, 30 workers. This was the uh, same place, different building though, but the same place where I got a nest last year under, uh, under an eave. It's like an eave like this. I had a video on YouTube last year. If this makes YouTube, I'll say that, but of course, uh, people I'm sending this to already know that. I'm gonna be encircled. Don't have a suit with me, it's in the car. Yeah, late August if this makes it all uh hopefully I'll get it.
It's a really small aerial yellow jacket's nest. The size of a baseball. Seen like seen some like this before. They never get real big. Actually, I did see this one back um, back in uh, June. I thought it was a bald face wearing a queen nest, but it's an aerial yellow jacket. There's a worker outside of it, and she went back in. Might be an interesting one to get. Get my ladder once it's abandoned. See what it produces. It's the 22nd, 2020. I don't see any activity. Last time I was here was uh, mid July. I found this nest on the 20th of June. Um, so it might be time to cut this one down on this aerial yellow jacket. They're interesting because their season is very short and you know, they get started late April, early May, and they're done, you know, by anywhere from mid August to early September. And I'm looking in there, there could be a few left, so I might suit up, but I'm actually glad I came out here today before the birds get to it. Looks like there was a little bit of damage at the bottom. Um, but it looks pretty good. Um, this is the same place as where I got the nest from 2019, just a different building. Um, so it could have been a queen from that nest that started this one. Um, so yeah, maybe you can, hopefully you can see in there. You know, I'm knocking, didn't see anything. Um, so yeah, it could be an interesting one because it'll be like kind of like a half nest. You know, it'll be very flat along the back end and then they just build out. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, let's... Uh, Get this one down. The other side of it. Actually one of my favorite species. Just too bad they have such a short cycle. Almost like uh, you think they'd be common like in the Arctic or something, like almost like an Arctic species that came south used to a very short season. Because um, you know we still got another two, three months of good weather here in uh, southern Pennsylvania. But uh, they're done. So the cells look a little large in the in the bottom from what I'm saying. I can tell you more when I get it down, but there's like a small comb that didn't rear anything similar to the one I got last year, and then I don't know how many combs there are, but it's the top of it. Alright, glad I came up here today. So I got the nest down. That's where it was. Here it is. Looks like uh, four combs. It started a fifth that didn't get anywhere. Friend there still eyeing me up. There's a few of them else buzzing around me too. Because it's their territory, so it's whatever. Um, so yeah, here's the nest. It looks like uh, they got the first four combs, or small cells, maybe some large cells on the uh, the left hand side there with the, the third comb and then the, the fourth comb it looks like it's all large cells so I think they reared mostly workers and a few queens maybe some males too but looks like queens is mostly this side here on the left of the third comb and then the fourth comb and then there's that other small comb fifth comb that didn't really get anywhere they started it but then uh, the nest died out the queen probably died so they were probably finished all the brood hatched out with this nest I would say um, Early August, no, no later than probably the beginning of the second week of August, this nest was probably void of any brood. So the queen probably stopped laying eggs sometime in July. But a uh, beautiful nest. Oh, of course I dropped it. Alright, so here's the nest. It's got very thick buttresses at the top. Then as you go down, it gets thinner just in the center. Queen cells there, and uh, queen cells on this side too of the third comb. Fourth comb looks like it's all large cells, and the fifth comb um, looks like they started it but didn't rear anything. So probably worker, worker, workers here, probably maybe males, workers and males, and then uh, some queens in this comb, and queens on the side of uh, this one. 
but got two full worker combs. Unlike the bald face one that only has uh, the worker comb at the top, this species uh, produces workers in uh, nearly all the combs, as you can see, except for the very bottom one, looks like. So yeah, very cool. Um, the one I got last year had some uh, webworms up at the top, but this one looks to be free of them. Let's see if I can uh, pick it up and it's the top. It's a part of the embryo nest where the queen started the nest probably in early May. And now flipping it over. Can I see the top? Nice smooth paper. The species is hard to come by. This is the only mature nest that I've seen of this species this year. Very smooth paper. And the entrance hole, of course. Some damage. I don't know if that's weather or if a bird tried to get in there, but the combs don't look damaged at all. So I'm thinking it was probably just weather that, that damaged it. Kind of see out the, the bottom there. That's where they were going in and out from the inside there. So yeah, very cool. Again, one, two, three, four, start a fifth comb. Queens look like they reared on the periphery of the third comb, and then the fourth comb looks like it was all queens. But uh, I don't think this nest was sprayed, so. All right, thanks for watching.